And here, this, this lineup is listed on your sheet, but uh, uh, pretty good yard art here. Uh, I'd say the 36 uh, Ford V8 pickup. Uh, the last uh, tag on it, I think, is a 55. So I was I was in on digging that out of the hedgerow. And you have a 37 Ford V8. Uh, this is the rare one. This has the 60 horsepower instead of the 85. Oh wow! The one we'll see in the South Barn, which runs, uh, is an 85 horse. That was the popular one, and it had 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 some power. They made this little 60 horse, which is a real cute little flathead V8. But they say it was a dog. It just had no. <laughs> It couldn't Bare, go uphill and it couldn't barely pass. pull itself. It barely pulled itself around. So uh, <laughs> it was probably the economy version. It, I would imagine it's the economy version. Uh, it's the collectible one now. Oh sure. Because you know if, if it's the rare one, but well, it wasn't the one that could get you to town and back in good shape. I think. It's funny. The uh, <laughs> usually the the rarest stuff was the stuff that didn't work. Yeah. It was right. uh, it was kind of the you know it just didn't get made yeah. as much. They had a pretty rare tractor here. Uh, my understanding is they only made 800, maybe 801 or two of the Rumble Six. Mm -hmm. And you can correct mm -hmm. me on this, but mm -hmm. that's that's what I sat, found online. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, this tractor. Is, this is kind of the last. We drove this tractor. Rumbly. in. We drove this tractor on its own power. Oh, okay. And it sat here for the last 45 years. Uh, tires have gone flat and all, but but this this is a runnable tractor, uh, a Rumble Six. Got the pulley, um, and. Uh, just a flathead, straight, inline, six-cylinder, and uh, it, it's it's unfortunate this this was not a more popular tractor in its day. They just they didn't sell well or something. Maybe it was the economy it was, it at the was, time. It was right at the merger too with Alice. Okay. So yep. They, yep. Uh, I think Alice actually <laughs> sold these just to kind of get rid of the stock uh, after they bought out Rumley. But yep. this was the last kind of uh, tractor that it carried. It's the still Rumley the green name. color. They may, I think they had some in the in the Alice orange probably too. I don't know for sure, but I I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, 30, 30 and thirty one. Just made it one year between nineteen thirty and thirty one. So. Uh, Anyway, Rumley 6 um, will suit somebody. GP? Yeah, pretty rough shape, but I think it's complete. Uh, the, the rims are rusting out because they've had fluid in the tires, and you'll see more of those kind of tractors around. Then here's a project that um, my dad was very kind to me as a teenager. He let me have a box full of tools and start taking stuff apart. And this was out in the pasture, and I loved to work bolts and nuts and take things apart. I was better at taking it apart than I was putting it back again. That's, that, that is a... So this, <laughs> this is my project, which I'm never going to finish. <laughs> but uh, you can advertise this as a 27 Chevy truck disassembled, thanks, <laughs> thanks to Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> and so the next guy can figure out, uh, you know, I've got the, I got the box of valve stems and, and all that, but uh, I'm not too proud of the fact that uh, that's all the further I got on it. <laughs> but, you know, I did go on and get a couple degrees yeah, in college yeah, and yeah. taught school for 20 years. So, uh, I bet I, you learned something. You know, you if, I guess if I had to put it all back together, maybe I'd have missed out on all my education and teaching school all those years. And instead, I could be a, a shade shade tree mechanic someplace. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a restorable, it's a restorable truck. Here's the Dodge car that we took. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that side, yeah, that side. yeah, there is no front axle. That, well. It's on rollers right now. Uh, That's okay. just because I, I just came up with a quick fix and, and put that forecaster uh, roller to, under there. To get it moved. And we, the, the tires actually took air. And with my skid steer, I could drive up in there. I had a buddy helping me. And he could push the whole front end and slide that back and forth on those four rollers. Oh, so you and that made steer, that corner. That skid steer, we made the corner and we pulled it out. And then we backed it in here. And the tires have since gone flat, but, but, but there it is. You know, it's so, actually. And I don't, know what, I don't know what year it is. Pretty nice body. I, I would guess early 40s. Okay. If not late 30s, I don't know. But, but you know, in the 40s, the only you had, the, you had the, the lights already in the fenders. Oh, okay. Okay. That was, uh, that's how you can tell the difference between the 36 and the 37 on the Ford. In 37, they put the lights in the fenders rather than have them separate. But I don't know what Dodge's, right, uh, right. you know, timeline was on that. But that's Dodge, Dodge Brothers or whatever. <laughs> a lot of metal in that car. <laughs> and they make them out of plastic now. 